Welcome to this video lesson session. This is a video lesson about the cry of the girl written by Emmanuel Labrit. The cry of the girl is included in the syllabus of Calicut University ENG for A06 Spectrum Literature and Contemporary Issues in the syllabus of semester fourth semester common English course course of BA and BSc. It comes in the module of the marginalized and their rights. Emmanuel Elaborate was born in 1971 in Paris. By birth itself, she is hearing impaired, that means she is a deaf. Later she became a famous French actress and she appeared more than 10 French films since 1994. This is the front cover of her autobiography. She is very famous for her autobiography, The Cry of the Girl. She begins her autobiography with a simple explanation of the different sign language made in her life. With the help of sign language, she writes, I understood that yesterday was behind me and tomorrow was in front of me. That shows that she is very positive and optimistic in her life. These are the two pictures of Emmanuel Labrate. She was the first hearing impaired French actor to win the Molly Award in the category of the best new talent. Molly Award is an award that is given to the film industry. The Cry of the Girl is a both revealing and encouraging story for young people everywhere in the world. The text described here is only a selection from Labrit's autobiography, The Cry of the Girl. This passage is published in the second edition of the Disability Studies Reader, edited by Leonard J. Davis and published by Rutledge in 2006. The Disability Studies Reader is a collection of disability narratives. The Story of My Life by Helen Colors, that is a disability narrative. This narrative is elaborate and opens up many issues like the struggle of the disabled to survive, parental attitude, need for the right training, and varying social attitudes. Acts and legal support for the disabled persons in 2006, the UN International Convention confirmed the rights of the disabled persons must be protected. In 2016, in their past and enacted the RPWD Act, Rights of Persons with Disabilities Act, to protect them. This underlined respect for difference and acceptance of persons with disabilities as, as, as a part of human diversity and humanity. The inherent dignity, freedom of choice and autonomy of persons with disabilities are properly recognized as a principle that every society strives to achieve. This passage is noted for its emotional involvement and touching language. It is an eye-opener to many about the world of the disabled. It can also function as a great piece of motivation in a broad sense. One can call it a disability narrative. This passage is written with a first-person narrative describing the author's childhood experiences. In her childhood, she started to talk, but this attempt to talk ended up in screaming and crying sounds. The words that she attempted to talk were not rebounding to her. Laborate over the cherry bratle, some sarikumarun, chepoem, some sarikan, samichal, other screaming sound it to Marumarum Garanum. Our some sarikan, samicha, Murivan Wakulum, our Kudene, Kelkan, Kayuna, our still agnil, Narnanel Alki, our Kichevi Kelkumarunilla, other under the name, our some sarikan, samicha, Wakula lam, our de Chevi lake, rebound jay, one little lairun, in Marne, put a parin. Labrate was trying to talk, but this screaming became like a piercing sound of a seabird, like a girl, so that she was nicknamed as Moat. family members nickname the means that means seagull in French. This is a picture of seagull. It is mute and Seagulls can't make sounds. She was a beautiful girl. According to her mother, she weighed 7 pounds and 11 ounces. 
that means she is very healthy like a all other children she listened to the sounds the music but what she, what she listened was due to the vibration she felt in her body she was really not listening or hearing the sound from the surroundings her parents couldn't find anything unusual in her behavior at the early stage her family is a seafaring family and her mother father grandfather and brother were among the last of cape horn sailors Uncle Fifu's suspicion about Labrit's deafness. Uncle Fifu was the first to say that Emanuele makes squeaking sounds because she can't hear herself. He was the first to arouse their suspicion. The nickname what she belonged to a member of this seafaring family. It also became another reason why they called Labrit as the little seagull. The French word seagull and mute look and sound practically the same. Muet means seagull and muet means mute in French language. Later they found that their grandparents had been married in the chapel of the National Institute for the Deaf in Bordeaux. This may be a reason for her deafness. Later her parents consulted a pediatrician and the pediatrician thought Labrit was crazy and pediatrician suggested her mother needed counseling for her psychological problems. The pediatrician couldn't diagnose that she was a deaf girl and he couldn't find her disability. When she was 9 months old, her mother took her to a specialist doctor. The specialist doctor diagnosed in no time that she had been born profoundly deaf. The specialist doctor had no idea why it or a picture born in the library കേൾവിശക്തി ഇല്ലാത്ത ഒരു കുട്ടിയാണ് എന്നുള്ളത് ഈ സ്പെഷ്യലിസ്റ്റ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞത് നേരത്തെ അങ്കിൾ ഫിഫു അതിനെ കുറിച്ച് ഒരു സംശയം പറഞ്ഞിരുന്നു അത് നമ്മൾ ഓൾറെഡി കണ്ടു കഴിഞ്ഞു ദിസ് വാസ് എ ഷോക്ക് ഫോർ ഹർ ഫാദർ ആൻഡ് മദർ ദ കുഡിൻറ്റ് ബിലീവ് ഇറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ആക്സെപ്റ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഹ പാരൻസ് ബിലീവ് ഇറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് കുഡ് ബി എ മിസ് ഡയഗ്നോസിസ് ലേറ്റർ ദ വെൻ ടു സി അനദർ സ്പെഷ്യലിസ്റ്റ് ഹു ഓൾസോ റി അഷ്വേർഡ് ദം ദാറ്റ് ലൈബ്രറ്റ് വാസ് ബോൺ ഡഫ് വെൻ ദ വെൻ ടു ട്രോസ് ഹോസ്പിറ്റൽ വിത്ത് ഹ ഫാദർ So they made a lot of sound examination and medical test but she was unresponsive to these sounds and her mother asked three questions will she talk what should we do is there any way i could meet some deaf adults the answer to these questions were she would talk but it will take a long time the answer to the second question was that labret should be fitted with hearing aid and get her into speech therapy as soon as possible and avoid sign language at all costs in her surroundings the answer to the third question was that finding adult deaf wouldn't be a good idea because they belonged to a generation that didn't have early training hence they will be disappointed and discouraged her mother cried and thought what the curse was for this condition of their child they thought was it genetic or due to illness during pregnancy her mother her parents felt guilty parents always found guilty in them but blaming one parent or the other for a child's deafness is horrible for the child labrit had strange memories of her early childhood they were chaotic in her heart and a series of completely and unrelated images like film sequences edited together with the long strips of a blank film ലൈബ്രറ്റിനെ മെമ്മറീസ് ഏർലി ചൈൽഡിലെ ഏഴാമത്തെ വയസ്സ് വരെ ലൈബ്രറ്റിനെ മെമ്മറീസ് ചൈൽഡിലെ മെമ്മറീസ് ഒന്നും ഓർത്തെടുക്കാൻ പറ്റിയിട്ടില്ല അതിൻ്റെ ടൈമിനെ അവർക്ക് ലൊക്കേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ടില്ലായിരുന്നു അതെല്ലാം ഒരു വെയ്ഗ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ക്ലിയർ അല്ലാത്ത ആശയങ്ങളായിട്ട് മെമ്മറീസ് ആയിട്ട് അവരുടെ മനസ്സിൽ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അതുകൊണ്ട് ഇത് ഈ ഒരു സംഭവത്തിന് ഇവരുടെ ചൈൽഡ്ഹുഡ് മെമ്മറീസിനെ ലൈബ്രറ്റി കമ്പയർ ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഫിലിമിലെ എഡിറ്റിംഗ് ടെക്നിക്കുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെട്ടുകൊണ്ടാണ് അപ് ടു ദ ഏജ് ഓഫ് സെവൻ ഹർ ലൈഫ് വാസ് ഫുൾ ഓഫ് ഗ്യാപ്സ് ഷി ഹാസ് ഓൺലി വിഷൽ മെമ്മറീസ് ലൈക്ക് ഫ്ലാഷ് ബാക്സ് ഇമേജസ് ഹൂസ് ടൈം ഫ്രെയിം ഷീ കാൻറ്റ് പ്ലേസ് ഇറ്റ് അണ്ടിൽ ദ ഏജ് ഓഫ് സെവൻ ഷീ കുഡ് ഇൻ ലൊക്കേറ്റ് എനി മെമ്മറീസ് ഓഫ് ഹർ ചൈൽഡ്ഹുഡ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ദി ഏജ് ഓഫ് സെവൻ ഷീ സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് ലേണിംഗ് ഹൗ ടു കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേറ്റ് വിത്ത് എ സ്പീച്ച് തെറാപ്പിസ്റ്റ് യൂസിംഗ് ദ ബോറൽ മേസനി മെത്തേഡ് ഈ ബോറൽ മേസനി മെത്തേഡ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇവർക്ക് പഠിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു മെത്തേഡ് ആയിരുന്നു കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേഷൻ സ്പീച്ച് പഠിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ടുള്ളൊരു മെത്തേഡ് ആയിരുന്നു ഇതിലൂടെയാണ് ഇവർ ഈ സൈൻ ലാംഗ്വേജും അതേപോലെ കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേഷനും പഠിച്ചിട്ട് എടുക്കുന്നത് 
Using the Borel Masony method, she learned to how to pronounce the letters of the alphabet that they taught her the letters using mouth movement and hand gestures. Her mother also sat in the sessions, which helped her mother to assume the maternal role by identifying with the therapist her mother learned to talk to her. This communication between Labrite and her mother was in an instinctive one. Janmana Ulladubole, instinctive one. And she compares it with an umbilical. Uri Ammayam Uri Garbastha Shishun Dhammanulla Pokkil Kodi Bendam Innukka Parayinudubole I don't know this communication pin need to elaborate in you. Peel Chaitit Ndaitan. There was no room or space for her father in this communication between Labrite and her mother. Her father was disappointed that he couldn't speak to her daughter as if her mother did, even though she attended some words. But her father never understood it. He felt he has been excluded from home. Communication in the Iron and Nanavarinadi, Boral Masoni Method Lude, Laborate, Padiche de Tiricuna, our speech therapy Lude, Verepum, Ameo Sam Saricumaru, Che Achani Idariat Runde, Achen, a poem, very isolated title of feeling in Achene, a written in the Iron and Nanavarin. Aduna than a Achene poem disappointed at Nirasha when I don't know about the Magalode, Sam Sarikan Patatu Nira. The last part of the passage says that she, st she started as saying few words using the hearing aid even though the hearing aid channeled noises into her ear but they were all the same. It was impossible her to differentiate between them or use them in any way. Her mother would say and consoled herself in the statement she may be deaf but she is so cute she will just be that much smarter. This is the first time that we have to do this. We have and happy learning please do subscribe this channel and press the bell icon to get notifications about latest updates